Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you a delicious and tasty lamb curry. This is my version of lamb curry. Please try it and you're going to like it. This is a lamb loin chops and it's from Australia. These are big pieces. So we're going to cut it into smaller pieces and we're going to wash with cold water. Olive oil for third cup, one cup water. If we need a running gravy, we always can add more water. Kashmiri mint, tomato sauce, one onion, two green chili, one tablespoon ginger and garlic clove, one tablespoon. When it comes to Indian food, we always use grinder leaf, cilantro or typical Punjabi, dhania. So instead of for dhania, cilantro, I'll be using a fresh mint, which is pudina. And the spices from masala dabba. The first step will be cutting up the meat, the onion, ginger, green chili, and then I will share with you the next step. Two and a half pound Australian lamb. These are big pieces. We are going to make a smaller pieces. This is the garam masala which is very important to use with the lamb. Too many ingredients to list. And how to make this garam masala? For your lamb curry, I have a posted video on my channel. And this is how it's going to look. Onion, ginger, garlic, green chili, cut into small pieces. These are big pieces. One piece we're going to keep it. It has a big T-bone. And then we're going to make two pieces of this. My kids are not fond of the fat, so I always do, I trim the fat off. So you really don't need to take it out. This much fat is okay, but if too much fat accumulated, just trim it off. One more piece to go. Australian lamb is pretty good, only the fat came out of from two pieces. Otherwise, this one looks nice. So I'll get the strainer. So very important when you wash it, wash it with cold water. So let's start making our delicious lamb curry. Get a big pot. It's always a good idea when you're cooking a lamb curry or goat curry, you have a heavy bottom pan. Start gas. Two tablespoon olive oil. As the oil start to heat up, one teaspoon cumin seed, jeera. Add onion. Mix it well. Start the pan. Keep it moving so it won't get burned. Cooking onion for two minutes. I'll add ginger, garlic, and green chili. Mix it well. So keep it moving, and we're going to saute onion until they turn golden brown. Onions are nicely brown. I'll add tomato sauce. Half can. And mix it well. Cooking tomato sauce with tarka for one minute. As you see, the oil starts to ooze out. So tarka is fully cooked. Full add spices. Half teaspoon curry powder. Half teaspoon black pepper. One teaspoon grinder powder. One teaspoon cumin powder. 
salt to taste it's one teaspoon this is the garam masala one teaspoon mix it well cook the spices along with tadka for half minute add half cup water mix it well cooking for another minute add kashmiri milk one teaspoon mix it well again After adding this mini milk, we we'll cook this milk. Half a minute. So the tarka is nicely cooked. I'll add lamb meat. Mix it well. Once it's nicely combined, keep it moving, and we're going to cook for five minutes. cooking lamb for 5 minutes with the tadka on high gas bring the gas to medium initially we added half cup lamb one and a half cup more now it will be one cup and one more cup so all together we have a two cup mix it well after mixing it well on medium gas cover with the lid and we're going to cook it for 15 minutes every 5 minute i'm going to open it i'm going to stir it so going to make sure that it does not burn at all on medium gas cooking for 15 minutes i opened it twice after 5 minutes i opened it stir it after 10 minutes i opened it again now 15 minutes this is how meat look lamb meat always takes longer to cook when you cook on a low gas it really tastes better so after mixing it well i'm going to bring the gas to low which is number 2 and we're going to cook it for 20 minutes so I'll cover with the lid and occasionally keep stirring so it won't get burned on medium low gas cooking for 20 minutes I opened it once after 10 minutes I opened it and then I stir it and now we need to mix it well So if we check the meat and if we press it and it nicely cut through This is what I was saying cooking on a slow heat it cooks the meat to perfection but i want to cook more this is good you can take it out as is cover with the lid and on medium low gas cook 10 more minutes another 10 minutes cooking on a low gas and i'm going to open it as you seen the lamb is fully cooked i use all together 2 cup water you can add more if you want now i'll bring the gas to high and we're going to cook on high gas for a couple minute until the gravy thickens at the same time i'll add 2 teaspoon kasuri methi which is fenugreek leaf mix it well the meat start to pull back from the bones as well go cooking another minute on a high gas i'll add pudina which is mint leaf mix it well after mixing the mint the pudina i'm going to cover with the lid turn off the gas our lamb curry is all ready So we turn off the gas, let it sit for a couple minutes, so that the all the mint flavor can go inside the curry. When we're going to eat it, it's going to taste really well. We waited for another two minutes. I'm going to open it. Let me close in. Look at how delicious lamb curry is all ready. This is very delicious lamb curry. Please try this version. Serving bowl. is ready
and we're going to dish out. Let me share with you. Lamb curry in easy step method. Please try it. This is very good recipe. And as I mentioned, you can cook it faster, but slow cooking brings the taste. So please cook it as I did. And if you try this recipe, you're going to like it. I really appreciate for taking your time and watching easy steps cooking. And you can serve with the roti, chapati, fulka, naan, paratha, and best of all, it's suitable with the rice plow. So I'm going to see you soon with the new recipe. Bye-bye.